I have no emotes, what the fuck? I'm so sorry now. But, um, hi guys. Yeah, quit the damn thing. Um, hi everybody. Uh, Mad Man here. Doing, what, which one was it? Cesaro. I lost my train of thought already. Um, so as you can see, I'm in Minecraft again. Here's Olmec. And it might look a little bit different than what you saw last time. As I go out here, we got a different mode. Our walls are missing. There's nothing the fuck around me because the goddamn game glitched and lost all the fucking data! Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I had some type of malfunction when I was playing this the other day. I was doing some stuff with some friends. We were working on something. And the goddamn game glitched when I saved it. I think I, my Wi-Fi shit the bed at that moment. And when I saved, when I went to save it, and when the Wi-Fi glitched when, it's, when I saved, it corrupted my file. So now I am forced to painstakingly sit here. And rebuild everything from scratch. Which I'm not really complaining about, because... I'll show you in about two seconds of this. So again, O C fucking D. Hold on. I've been wanting to replace the moat challenge because I had it as um, a stink ladder. And it was very apparently difficult for when I ran this as a trial run with a couple friends, it was apparently a little too advanced and too hard for them. Where the hell does this start at? So it's a, it's a little Survivor-esque. And I'll try to do it in my best old mech voice. In front of each one of you... Ah, oh, fuck it. In front of each player is... Um, an ancient staircase. A hanging dispenser. And a broken bridge. And on my go... They leave their starting spot. And they're able to run up the stairs. Run, jump, and hit a button if they can. If they hit the button... A shulker box will fall out. They must pick it up, bring it back to their table, and place it on their table. Once they get all three shulker boxes on the table, once they get all three on the table, they're allowed to empty the contents of it, which are basically wall blocks. Get the contents into their inventory and build their bridge. They must use the bridge to get across the, uh, was it the build from here? to there and then they're able to cross the water and hit the gong and now we know when everybody finishes because I finally figured out how to get command blocks because I've never really looked into it until like recently and I feel like a god dang idiot for not looking into it and the same thing goes for our steps of knowledge oh yeah if you didn't notice uh, what it said so and so, whoever crosses, cross the moat. I'm going to step to knowledge. You stand, you stand on your block. When you think you know the answer, step forward. Oh, I buzzed in. And do that down the line. Awesome, we got our tiebreaker podium. We still have all the original games. Just now, obviously, some are changed because I also figured out how to get fucking barriers.
The only one that doesn't have barriers is this one, obviously, just because I prefer a glass in it for some reason. Our climb and drop challenge has been significantly changed to have the um, bamboo platform. I can't even think of the name of them right now. Scaffolding. Why the fuck can I not think of that? I'm, I'm a f is it? Today's my f Why are you moving that way? Today's my first day off. I just started full time a month ago. And for 40 hours. Which is my full time limit. I worked 55 this past week. But that's regardless. So I finally was able to take a day. They're, they're like, take tomorrow off. I worry out the door. You don't have to tell me twice. Uh, but then, aside from that, our temple has a bunch of new rooms. Some you've seen in other people's videos that they made. Some I made up for this. Some are redubs, basically, of what other people made. So let's go through the list of rooms. Hello, Olmec. Oh, and before we do that, everything is better now. Gate down, mouth down. Mouth open, gate opened. Or gate closed. Whatever. Fuck it. Up is closed, down is open. Fuck it. Alright. Oh, yeah, and the gates changed too. I don't. But anyway, fuck it. Start going by going up the stairs into the bell tower. Ring the correct bell. And you can run down the stairs into the pit of the pendulum. Knock the redstone torch off the column. And you can climb up into the mystic well. And it'll give you a hint of where I'm hiding an object. Search for the elusive ancient gold coin. Throw it into the well to open the doors. And you can head down into the chamber of sacred levers. The levers know where to go. And if you can figure out their hint, place a lever on the correct gold block and flip its switch in order to open the door to the king's storeroom. Use the provided axe to smash the clay pots and find the key, which could allow you into the shrine of the silver snow golem. Assemble the statue, yeah, assemble the statue, and you could enter the room of the secret password. Find the temple of the correct inscription and shout it out to open the door to the pharaoh's secret passage. Slide down the tunnel to the quicksand bog where you can plow through the gravel wall into the abandoned woods. Beware of the temple spirits that may haunt the woods as you find the key in one of the trees. There's five trees. Find the key and you may enter the graveyard. Use the provided shovel to dig up the caskets. Inside one casket is a beating heart. Place the heart into the empty tombstone. And you could enter the Queen's Library. Push on the correct books to unlock the doors, and if the correct door unlocks, you may crawl back through the pit, then climb through the ledges, race down the stairs and back through the temple gates. No, you, the choices are yours and yours alone, yada yada yada. Um, who is going first? Sorry. This was a pin, this was the way the temple looked. I'd be at some minor changes, at least temple-wise, and then something bugged on my system, and I lost all of it. So this was a complete rebuild that took me about. I mean, luckily I had the videos to watch again through YouTube, and I saved a couple videos to my phone. About what it looked like, but and 
$810, Drew Carey. So I'm, I'm catching up on TV shows I missed. Um, what was it? Luckily, I had videos to, on my phone that I sent to friends to see what their opinions on what I should change and whatnot. So luckily, um, I was able to relook at everything again and easily build it. But even at the same time, it took just a couple days just to even build this staircase. Just this staircase alone took a couple days. Remembering how to build everything took a couple days. So now that this is done, oh, by the way, let's see what's down here. There's nothing. We're flying. Don't ask what. Don't even ask what that is. What the fuck did I do? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Why is that all blue? I forgot I had to do that. All of our games are a little bit more updated. Like, there's now barriers on all that. The barriers in the ledges so we can get rid of the glass. Barriers right there so you can't climb over or anything. I mean, I feel, still think you can, but. Can't climb over that. <laughs> I put barriers in there. But you have also three stacks of glass so you can know where to. What was it? So also, uh, are you, you can stack your golem up on these blocks. Our doors change. The one thing that always ticked me off is that this room is so small compared to this room. It was the smallest room. I was able to work around it, and now we actually have a we have a door system, and you can actually go through that room easy now. This room's not a proper size, it's not a tight fit. Our wiring is still a fucking mess, but it's a lot neater looking than it was before. Even though it's still a fucking mess. One thing I like. Let me do this real quick. I hope you can hear it over the over everything. When you find a heart and you put in the tombstone, you get the bell. It's kind of like, a, like you know, like Undertaker, like a funeral bell. But yeah, that blue wall's going back up. I figure out how to get light blocks as well. So hopefully, I can close in the entire thing, and we still have all the original temple games that I made. But this was a complete rebuild. And I might do the new version of the temple at some point. But I'm going to look into it as well about setting up this on a server later on. So we might be able to do a full show. And I've talked to a couple friends. We might do a channel where we might be able to support all this stuff, so cross your fingers. But until then, I'm going to continue building what was destroyed. And, again, hope everybody takes care. If you like what you see here, please subscribe. Even though I just started full-time, I don't feel like going back to work. If you like what you see, like I said, subscribe. Um, share this video if you if you're just a fan of it. Hopefully, I'll see some of you guys. Also, well, hopefully, I'll see you guys soon with another video, maybe an actual playthrough. But until then, take care, everybody. Enjoy your day. Later.